Mama Christine, she lived on that green, that shade that led the sun through, tall stems full of the stuff of life, laying foundations in the moss, cultivating a kind of eco-festival full of the cool, hip, new stuff. <laughs> She hailed from Masaka in rural Uganda. She whispered evergreen national forests. She wore celebrations atop Afro coils. Behind Coco Eyes danced a silent disco. And she was rapping in tribute, pursing lips to my dimples. Once, I thought I had jailed my chance to be a mother. After severing myself away from a house full of women, too big for their boobs. <laughs> and so, I kicked the dirt and turned my back on my idea of family. To flap in the crosswinds in a pea green boat. She was the roadside green directing me back to motherhood, back to the truth wedged between puberty and middle classdom. Through a detour made through males, too old to be boys. I hid my joy behind a padlocked Brady Bunch. Her face was the key, opening old-fashioned golden door, beaconing for people to come in and stay a while, empty their souls, rest up, and ease lines carved across Play-Doh, and sharing wee dram of philosophy. <laughs> her face, her voice was the architect. The architect plucking at my dimples to loosen my shadows. The chef pressing jerk, pimento, scotch bonnet, garlic cloves into my middle, seasoning me for motherhood. She loved the little bit of olive mixed with apple. The edge, the type that took the edge off a hard day of walking wards in warning clogs. Her uniform, a starched dream, dream, a starched green that made you stand to attention. All made you want to hide your boyfriend until he wanted to do the right thing all by himself. And she would call me. Please. And she would call me. Please. And I, and I mother a handful now of those cool tints of her, cool hip you stuff of light.